The turbo supercharger was a critical technology used by the Army Air Forces in World War II, but it saw its early beginnings at McCook Field in the teens. AFRL traces its beginnings in the U.S. military to the engineering department at McCook Field in downtown Dayton. Now, McCook was built from scratch with wooden buildings and in haste with the U.S. entry into World War I in 1917. So this was the center of air service engineering and aircraft development from 1917 up into the late 20s. The problem with McCook Field is it was relatively small, about 250 acres, and clearly the air service needed a larger facility. So in the end, in the late 20s, Wright Field was built and all of the equipment and material was moved from McCook Field to Wright Field. Engines have problems at higher altitudes because of the lack of oxygen, and a turbo supercharger compresses that air and allows more oxygen to get into the engine. Early turbo supercharger tests at McCook Field saw test pilots flying as high as 40,000 feet. Using an engine like this, in a LUSAC 11 like the one here at the Air Force's National Museum. One of those flights was pretty hairy. Uh, the pilot was Shorty Schroeder. He got up to about 33,000 feet and he took his mask off to try and change the oxygen flask. Unfortunately, he kind of fumbled as he was doing it, lost consciousness, and the aircraft fell out of control. Finally, at about 4,000 feet, he regained consciousness. His eyeballs had been frozen but somehow he managed to land the aircraft. Then in a flight the next year in 1921, a test pilot by the name of John McCready actually flew his LUSAC with a turbo supercharged Liberty up to more than 40,000 feet. Now that's higher than a modern airliner flies today. And he was flying in an open cockpit, no pressurization, temperatures were very cold, uh, certainly a very brave pilot. But these tests that were done at McCook Field in the early 20s set the stage and the development in the 20s and into the 30s with turbo superchargers meant that American aircraft like the P-47, P-38, B-17, and B-24, all critical platforms for the Army Air Forces in World War II, had turbo superchargers. So these aircraft were able to fly higher and fly faster.